welcome to my channel where I navigate chronic illness and try to live my best life. Today we're going to be uh, talking about a flare. I've been in a flare, but this weekend I have to get out. It's my daughter's birthday weekend, so I have to push myself. How am I going to do that? We will see. I'm taking you with me because oof, it's a lot going on right now. I am experiencing issues with POTS, which is my heart rate going too fast. I have a lupus flare, which I've been in for about a month. So that's my tailbone. It's hurting really bad. And just other things that always are kind of going on here and there. Uh, there's a lot of body pain and we're gonna see how, when you have to do it, you have to get out. Like I can't reschedule her birthday. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna make it through this? So she wants to do a shopping day and that's gonna be very hard for me. So there's some key things that I'm gonna take with me, which include my wheelchair and water, my meds, a braid, my brace, um, my wrist always hurts a lot. I'll probably take that. Just a few things and hope for the best. I will be on meds while I am there. So I will make sure to take my meds at the right time. So they are at their heightened capacity of working while I am out. And... I'm just gonna hope for the best. I don't want to ruin her birthday. I want her to have a beautiful time and I really think she will. I have gotten through it before. Now it might be a little busier because not only are we going to go shopping, but the following day we're going to have family come over. So I don't know how I'm going to navigate doing both but I'm gonna try my best. I also will probably take maybe a pillow to sit on on my wheelchair because my tailbone hurts so bad. And I'm gonna need my wheelchair anyways because of my pots, which I can't be walking a lot. I can take my beta blocker, but, well, I probably will take my beta blocker, but I can't really walk that much because my hips and, and my tailbone is hurting so much, so or are hurting so much, is hurting so much, it doesn't make sense. So it's me, I'm trying to figure out what's the best formula to have a successful day out. And then I will show you guys and bring you along and it will be good stuff, it'll be fun stuff too. It won't just be all about being chronically ill, but I wanna show you guys what it's like to live with chronic illness and trying to live a good life. So join me and hopefully we have some fun. We're at home, we're getting ready to go. And right now I'm having a bit of an episode with nausea. I stood up for too long and I started feeling really sick. I took my mid, mid, midodrin, which is my beta blocker. And I'm hoping that helps me get through the day. I am gonna take my wheelchair. I was debating on it because I'm hurting so bad sitting down, but I feel worse standing up. So I'm gonna have to take the pain of sitting down. I'm doing this because I love my daughter dearly and I want her to have a good time. She loves shopping. She just got a bunch of presents from her Gammy and her Gammy's friends. So sweet, she loves everything. And I just need to get through this. I need to get through this for her and for me. Come with me. I'm in the car right now, so you might hear my AC. I'm not going into the first place. We're getting our daughter a little treat, um, a sweet treat before we go shopping. And before I even got all the way in the car, my pots had me almost passing out and my body shutting down and me almost throwing up. Luckily, I had taken my beta blocker before I just hadn't kicked in yet and I've taken some Zofran and so the nausea is easing the trick that we do a lot of times is to get me some french fries and those are helping as well I have my good old trusty throw out bag just in case 
and I'm just hoping, I'm sorry if you see my hand, that the recording might be a little messed up because I am I am not really focused on the quality, I'm sorry. But I'm hoping by the time I get into the store I can feel better. I am pushing myself with all my physical might. It's my daughter's birthday and she absolutely deserves her mom to be present so I'm not I'm, if I'm not completely out I'm not stopping but I normally would have gone in and helped her pick out what she was gonna get but I was feeling too sick all the goods that my daughter got some of it she was able to pay for it herself because she got birthday money and then we got a few things for ourselves of course because we were out but I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff not a lot of stuff and I'm sorry if you guys see any bouncing I am bouncing you guys on my bed I had to be comfortable and that's the way it goes I first wanted to show before she opened this she found a sailor moon soda she loves this anime and it's so, I never, I, I didn't know they made stuff like this. It's so cool. So we can see the detail. So she probably will keep the can as a keepsake. If you guys hear anything in the back, I have all three of my kids in here and all three of my dogs in here. So they're doing pretty good. Let me go ahead and give that to her. She also got herself a little cup. She's been wanting a glass one like this with a lid. So have I. So me and her are twinning. Mm -hmm. I got an iridescent one. If you know, I love iridescent. I have it all over my house. Then she got Hello Kitty face wash. She's getting really in to makeup and beauty things. So she went a bit on a, on a haul for beauty stuff at Ulta. She got eyeliner, lip stuff, cheek stain, all kinds of stuff and of course, a beauty blender. She uh, got herself some Hello Kitty nail polish that came with stickers. Did you know that? Then she got herself a journal with patches. Really cute. A notebook. And an iridescent unicorn, which she'll probably put on her purse that she got for her birthday from one of my mom's friends and she just feels so nice. I got myself some markers from Five Below. Not markers, they're like pens. I like how the, the tip is. That's my dog, he has the zoomies, if you hear anything. Oh, and I got this, a tote bag. I've noticed a lot of places now, you have to buy for a bag, so I just wanna have a bunch of them. I like this one is I like that this one is plain so if my husband wants to take it he can all my other ones are really girly oh and she just handed me this she got a my melody pillow which we know she's obsessed with Sanrio and I think that's like everything I want to show we got little like other stuff like I got a new wet brush because the other one that I got was messed up she got bubble tea slime which if you watch my last video, she's not supposed to get slime, but she bought this herself. So I couldn't tell her she wasn't allowed to have it. And that is all. I am going to rest. I was slowly feeling my medicine wear off and I am feeling my heartbeat starting to be elevated. I need to lay down and relax. 
we're supposed to have family come tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm gonna be participating because I barely got through today. So I'll keep you guys updated. Hi guys. So it is two days since I was recording when we went out um, for shopping for my daughter's birthday. Yesterday we had family over and enjoyed her birthday and sang her happy birthday. We had cake and ice cream and I made it through. I actually did pretty good, which I'm feel really proud of. I'm hurting today, of course, but I got through it. And um, the day of the shopping was pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't, okay, I don't know what really happened because I went from feeling like I could manage in my flare to completely crashing right when I tried to leave. And I'm like suspecting that maybe it was because I got ready and I used all my energy up before I even left. I, that's maybe what happened. I couldn't actually tell you because that's chronic illness, but I got through it and she has had just such a wonderful, happy birthday. She is on cloud nine and that's truly why I pushed myself even though I knew it was going to be so, so challenging. It's chronic illness does not care what day it is and what you have to do. It does, it's just not going to go away just because you're like, oh, it's my daughter's birthday. Okay. I'll give you the day off. No, there are zero days off and it is 24 seven. I had to be in my wheelchair. Hopefully the clips that I showed are not too jumbled up. I did the best that I could, but I was not feeling well, as I've said several times already. So I just took whatever I could. I don't even know if I have that many clips, to be honest, but I'm gonna edit them right now and I guess we will see or you already saw what came of what I did record what well, came of what I did record yeah I'm sorry I I'm still not feeling good and so I'm my I feel like my speech is off some and I just need to rest I'm gonna rest that's what I that's I'm right now I am about to be in my bed I'm probably gonna color and just relax and enjoy the evening Okay. Have you guys had to push yourself before? Has it been difficult? How do you get through it? Do you guys have any tips, tricks, hacks that you guys do? Do you guys use a wheelchair when you're not feeling well? Is there medicine that always helps you get to a level where you're able to function somewhat? Let's have a conversation down below. I hope you guys are all having a good day or night. Take care.